What's up Muscle and Strength, IFBB Pro Brecon here with the Ryan Terry just coming off of a fourth place finish at the Olympia. Super stoked, today he's going to be taking me through a shoulder workout. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to show a bit of my training, so a few exercises I like to do, and then Brett's going to show me a few uh, exercises that he likes to implement into his training as well. Alright, let's kill this workout. Okay, so we're gonna start with just some standard shoulder press, get the shoulders warmed up, hit all the heads of the shoulders. We've done a couple warm-up sets already, so we're gonna kinda of jump into the first working set. Depends where I'm at in my training and where my goals are. Um, I'm coming off the back of the Olympia, so I'm not going to be too strong at the minute, but I'm looking to go into a bit of an off-season now. So I will be increasing the weight, lowering the reps, having longer rest periods now. So we're going for a minute and a half to two minute rest. Next we're going to do a drop set. I say we go for five to six, drop it, try and match the weight, and even drop it again, try and match the weight. Uh, up, up. Oh, you there. Two, good, come on. Three, easy, oh you, four. Five, come on, keep going. Six, two more, up, and again. Yes, good lad. Right, straight in. Basically it's to push through platters. If you're getting five reps out, it's always good to Drop the weight because obviously lactic acid builds up and try and get another five out to push through that plateau and then why not go again and really fatigue before moving on to the next muscle group. Last one, minimum of eight, any more is a bonus. Let's go. Feels good. Make it hard. Easy. the next exercise, which we're going to do something a bit different, we're going to do ascending side lateral raises. So we're going to get three sets of dumbbells, start off with a lighter weight for 18 reps, then we're going to go increase the weight a bit and go for 15 reps, increase a bit more and go for 12 reps. To finish the set off, we're going to do some partials with some quite heavy weights. So we're going to look for 10 reps, just basically pulsating, keeping the blood in the muscle, and that's going to be one set, and we're going to do three sets in total. If it's the first time you're trying ascending sets, um, always start off with a lighter weight, get a feel for the movement and get a feel for how many reps you're going to be doing. It's always better to keep the form rather than go heavy and throw the weight. Towards the end you can see we're both tiring, the form was starting to slip a little but it wasn't from the start, it was perfect to start with and you slightly uh, go off track towards the end. There you go, that's a push through. Ah, that's it, come on. Ah. Nice. Keep the 
Come on. Two more. Up. Up. Good. Right, this exercise, I wouldn't um, promote doing it every week, but it's great to shock the body, it's great to shock the delts by implementing this every three or four weeks. Uh, it's good to vary it up, um, and it's a bit of like a pre-exhaustion set, so starting off light, there is a lot of volume there, but again, because of the heavy weight, we're activating the slow and fast twitch fibers. Slow down, nice and slow. Control them. Good. Perfect. Brett and me are trying to keep the weight as far away from the body as possible. If you shorten the uh, elbows and bend the elbows, you're shortening the movement and making it a lot easier. The closer the weight to the body, the easier the exercise. So try and keep the weight at all times as far away from yeah. it as possible. On it. And again. Good man. Right, these are going to hurt. Let's do it. Yeah, 2016. Yeah. Do it, come on. Good. Come on. Up, all the way up. There, that's better. Good. Want it. Keep that tension on. Good. Yes. Shoulders are popping now. Drag away. Good. Right then, Brett, let's move on yeah. to rear delts. Your rear delts are extremely important to hit, and often I think people neglect them. I mean, if you look at Ryan, he doesn't just have the width in the cap to his shoulders, but when he hits his back pose, his rear delts really show, and that creates a symmetrical physique and creates a better posture for you as well. So we're going to do an incline rear delt dumbbell fly, uh, probably working first set, 12 reps or so see how the weight feels, and then uh, adjust from there. So with these, I like to keep the knuckles towards the mirror and uh, stay in a T position. Strict form, try not to swing the weights too much. Engage in the back, squeeze the shoulder blades as if you have a pencil between your shoulder girdle. As you can see, his scapula coming together. If you were behind him, you'd see his right shoulder blade, his left shoulder blade butting up against each other, and that's what you want. Good. And that's the thing, too. When you're training with a new partner, training with someone different, trying a new exercise, you may not always be 100% familiar with the rep range or the exercise. So, you know, Ryan and I, we're trying to feel things out, try different things. We may be shooting for eight, but if you're shooting for eight and your body can do 10 or 12, then do 10 or 12 and adjust the weight accordingly a second time. Okay. So next up, what are we going to hit? For me, I think we should hit shrugs. So okay. A front delt, rear delt, side delt. Let's hit shrugs. And then we'll look at doing some supersets after me. Perfect. My grip is not the best of grips. Um, and it'll always fail over my traps. So I'm going to start to uh, support my grip with some straps. Ten reps. Ten reps, okay? Yep. Come on, strong. Big traps. Easy one. Control the way down as well. Come on. Each one straight. Yes, better. So we're gonna do some rear delt flies. Yeah. Uh, really keeping them isolated and concentrated on the rear delt. And then we're going to go ahead and superset with some upright rows. We go a little higher rep, and we're really just trying to burn out and hit that high rep, lower weight range this time. Yes. 
Let's go, this is it, last set. Concentrate. Make it count. That's that burn your mind. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, five. Come on, come on, come on, come on, two, come on, uh, yo, yo, that's it. Right guys, that's it. That concludes the shoulder workout here at Muscle and Strength. Thanks to Brett for inviting me down here. Really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to uh, talking a bit more over dinner because we've got to get some food in us now. That's right, we need to fill up. Absolutely. <laughs>